Whoever has my commandments and keeps them, he it is who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by the Father, and I will love him and manifest myself to him. John chapter 14, verse 21. Dear Lord, we thank you that in your great love for us, you have promised to give us peace as we seek to abide in you through the indwelling of your Holy Spirit, we're comforted and strengthened by your never failing promises. Your word tells us that if we follow your commands, you will give us a rich welcome and presence in our lives. Grant us the grace to walk faithfully in obedience to your will so that we may experience the peace that surpasses all understanding. Strengthen our hearts and minds to be ever mindful of your love for us and your provision for our every need. I pray all this in Jesus' name, amen. Welcome to your meditative prayer on having a sustained faith to get the most out of your spiritual journey. Hope you'll use pray.com every day and make prayer a priority in your life. Our goal for today's meditative prayer is on having a sustained faith. Hope you'll take a second to slow down maybe a few seconds. Get into a quiet place where you can begin to relax, remove the distractions, a place where you can be alone in your thoughts and examine your heart. As you close your eyes, deep, breathe in deeply and out. Again, shift your focus to the Word of God. Open your heart and mind to receive for what the Holy Spirit has for you. We're going to be meditating on John chapter 14, verse 21 from the King James Version. Whoever has my commandments and keeps them, he it is who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by the Father, and I will love him and manifest myself to him. As we get started, as we get started, take a moment with me to pour out your adoration, your love to God. I love to begin this way. God, I extol your name. God, you are the most high. There is no one like you. There's no one beside you. And you know me. And you love me in spite of who I am. Jesus, you humbled yourself so that I might have salvation. You were obedient to the point of death, even the death on a cross. I praise you that you allow me to draw near to your presence. Holy Spirit, I worship for you alone will never leave me nor forsake me. Obedience to God's word increases our faith. The subject of our faith is God himself. If you wish to persevere in faith to know God, then you must acknowledge that he is and that you love him. You show God love by spending time with him, knowing his word and being obedient to it. By doing so, you invite his presence his personhood into your everyday life. With God present in your life, you will experience the manifestation of the source of your faith, and in turn, God's presence in your life will increase your faith. You will then find yourself in a perpetual cycle of faith designed by God, guess what, to bless your life. So take this information and keep it in your heart for the moments of uncertainty. In the moments of fear and doubt, remember who you are or whose you are in Christ. Remember that you're already loved and that you're already chosen. That is enough. He loves you. Take time to reflect on any feelings of frustration 
maybe helplessness, and share those with God. And ask him for help in sustaining your faith and persevering in his calling in your life. If it's needed, confess your sins to God. Ask him for forgiveness and his help, his grace and mercy. Hope you'll take a moment with me too to dwell on God's faithfulness. Thank God that his word is true, that he cannot and does not lie. Thank him that his integrity cannot be bought. It cannot be swayed, nor will it ever be corrupted. Thank God for the blessings of his righteousness and his goodness over your life, for his faithfulness and his recompense today and always. I hope you never forget that God's present and that he's listening to you. He desires for you to live a victorious life. For we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. So you can persevere in your faith. Jesus wants you to know you can trust him. So ask the Holy Spirit to transform your mind, to teach you how to be obedient. Ask the Holy Spirit for confidence in the truth that God, again, is who he says he is. And ask him for reassurance that he will sustain you and maintain you in the palms of his hands. Remember, if you love Jesus, you will obey his commandments. And if you love Jesus, the Bible says you're loved by the Father. And those who are loved by the Father are loved by Jesus. Never forget, God created you for himself, for love. You experience God's goodness and his love through faith in him. Hope you'll choose faith today, faith over fear, for every day to come. Be filled with the confidence of Christ and his, right, and his righteousness in your everyday life. Thank you for completing today's meditative prayer on pray.com. By incorporating this healthy habit as a daily practice, I believe you're making prayer a priority and strengthening your walk with God. I'm Dr. Tim Clinton, president of the American Association of Christian Counselors. We love being a part of your life. Please visit our website at aacc.net or timclinton.com. That's aacc.net or timclinton.com.